So I, I have an I have an idea, and confidence is one thing that's very important. It's very important, and um, I'm excited to see this guy thrive. He thrived in 2022. He was one of them guys that people didn't want to talk about. I'm talking about Jared Goff. You didn't want to say nice things about him. I saw an article the other day. It was about two or three days ago. It was like, Jared Goff is the most polarizing figure in Detroit. And I'm like, I had already made a video about that, but I agree. To see Jared, it's, it's almost like Jared was reborn in a way. And a lot of us content creators, we saw the problem of the 2021 season. And I think we put too much pressure, we put too much blame on Jared Goff when he was working with nothing. Jared Goff went to the Pro Bowl as an alternate because Jalen Hurts is in the Super Bowl and performed pretty well. He had a lot of fun. And is it just me or can you see a difference in confidence with JG? Confidence is a big deal for some people. Jared Goff needs to play action. As a matter of fact, he was phenomenal in the play action pass. And I really believe that you get you put a team around him. He's the to me, he's the only quarterback that we put all the blame on. And I, I just I, I don't know. As a watcher of Matthew Stafford for 12 years in Detroit, not one year did he get as much blame as, as golf got the moment he stepped in Detroit. I understand golf. Most fumbles in the league since 2019. He has 69. He had like 60-plus turnovers in, in the span of 2019. But you know what was quietly talked about that people seem like they don't want to talk about? Jared Goff in 2022 with the Detroit Lions not only believes that he played his best football of his career, he had probably his best season. The only season that could compete with that was the Super Bowl season. Playing for the Detroit Lions. And I'm going to say something here. And I'm going to say something that might get a little slack. I want Jared Goff to resign in 2024. I want the Lions to make sure he's here. Whether we draft a quarterback or not, whether we groom a quarterback or not, which is what I want us to do as well, whether it, we do any of that stuff, I want Jared Goff to be a part of this team. Every quarterback is going to have ups and downs. Every single one of them. You know what I, what I love to see? Is that the top two quarterbacks in the league are in the Super Bowl. The number one seed in both conference are in the Super Bowl. There's no six versus one. There's no seven versus one. The top two quarterbacks, both are MVP candidates, and one of them will win it this coming Saturday. Jared Goff, for some reason, I, I, and I'm going to say something, and it's going to be controversial. Matthew Stafford was a warrior physically. He was a warrior. We saw what he did. He threw the touchdown pass with, with his shoulder hurt. He played with a fractured back. There's no doubt about it. There's no taking that away from him at all. And I'm not trying to hate on Stafford. That All that's over with. I'm done with that. He got his chip. It's all good. But I believe that Jared Goff embodies more of what Detroit is than Matthew Stafford. That's just my opinion. Because Matthew Stafford was... He had Detroit on a platter. He wasn't discarded. He wasn't a former first overall pick that was jettisoned to a trash team. He was a former first round pick, overall pick, that was selected by a team who was 0-8. That's a difference. Yeah, the Detroit Lions sucked. We came with the first team to lose 16 games in history, all 16 in a season to go winless in a 16-game season. Yeah, that's why Matthew Stafford wound up here. But at the same time, we didn't send him. We got a haul for him. They, <laughs> the Rams essentially threw away. You know what You know what? Les Snead said? He said, forget them picks. Like, everything about them. Everything about the, the trade, forget it. Forget about them. The two first-round picks, who cares? The third-round pick, who cares? Jerry Goff, who cares? Who cares? Right? So, golf has always been like that. And like I said, y'all, I made a video before the trade happened. And I said, the only way I take the deal, the only way I take the, 
the deal is if Jared Goff is part of it. That's what I said. McKenzie says he got to win a division in the playoff game because he's gone, going to want 30 to 40 million. And guess what? Guess what, McKenzie? That he should. He should. He absolutely should. If I'm Jared Goff, if I'm, a, if, listen, and I'm playing, if, if he, <laughs> first of all, he getting 30 million anyway, right? If 2024 come around, he's 30 years old. Don't forget, Matthew Stafford was 32, 33 when the trade happened, right? If I'm playing at even a top 10 level out of 32 guys, I'm going to want my money. You've earned it. You've earned it, right? Usually, if you're working for somebody and you get a raise, it's because you've earned it, whether it's for work or time with the company. So if Jared Goff won 30 to $40 million and he playing like a 30 to $40 million quarterback, then good for him. Because guess what? Guess what, McKenzie? I know my worth. I know my worth. And I'm still underpaid. <laughs> so if Jared Goff keeps performing, but, but, but what I, the thing that gets me about Goff is he never had a shot. He never, everything, listen, the turnovers, yes, 100%. But we never gave him, we never gave him any chance. And then we wanted to actually put him on a stake because of our team last year. If he just do that, he will be considered the best QB we ever had, period. McKenzie, you facts. Facts about that. Matthew Stafford got his chip. We knew what it was. A lot of people didn't, they couldn't stand him as a lion. As soon as he get traded, they wearing Detroit Rams shirt, right? But I agree. And guess what, McKenzie? I think they both happened this year. I think they both happened this year. And 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 this whole segment is to show my appreciation for Jared, my appreciation for Jared Goff. I don't know, man. It just feels different. Something about Goff feels different. He talks more. He's more active. I know Stafford did some things too, but Stafford to me, I don't know, man. I feel like I connect with Jared Goff more. I feel like, like I said, not to take anything from Stafford being a warrior, but I just feel like golf embodies the city better. And this is this, it, the, the sad part about it. The dude is from Cali. He didn't know anything about the city of Detroit when he got here. And I think, to be honest with you, him leaving here would be tougher than him leaving L.A. as far as the team. Because sometimes you got to have stuff taken away from you to appreciate how good it was, Right? People have assumptions about the city of Detroit before while never setting foot in Detroit. You know what Goff said? If you listen to any, any interview, they talk about him winning here. And he says, like, I saw him on, I forgot what show this was. And they asked him about hanging out and getting recognized. And he said, you know, how does this compare to L.A.? He was like, L.A., I'm just a dude. <laughs> he said, I'm just a dude. I'm surrounded by stars. I'm just a dude there. He said, I will go out and not get recognized and, and stuff. Here, he get recognized all the time. And he said, this is a football town. This is a sports city. And that made me feel good. I'm like, because California got all the, they pretty, you know, they got money. But they don't love their sports like we do. Right? The Lakers and all that stuff. We, we about that life. So I want Jared Goff to win in this city. I really do. I, I really, truly do. And McKenzie, I think they both happened this year. I think they both happened this year. Quarterbacks are getting forty-five to fifty million dollars a year, and if golf bought, if let's, if golf is equal to or greater than what he did in twenty twenty-two, he's gonna get the same thing at thirty years old. Because I guarantee you that Jared Goff right now, right now, if he was going through what Derek Carr was going through, I guarantee you a third of the league would be calling. Easy. Easy. A third of the league would be calling about Jared Goff. So I want Jared Goff to succeed in this city. I want him to win, and I think he will.